Hello, and welcome to the third Secret TBR video. So, in April, which we're not currently in because I filmed this beforehand, I'm going to be doing a really easy Secret TBR because I have exams once again. Even though they're online, it's still kind of stressful and I have to study and stuff. So we're gonna keep this kind of chill. I'm going to be picking out books from TBR jars. They're actually mugs, but whatever. So I have two mugs. One is Chip from Beauty and the Beast, and one is Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And they both have papers in them. Why do I have two, you may ask? Series, standalones slash contemporaries, because I want to make this easier for myself so I'm going to choose one from this and four from this, even though I already have like four books on my TBR. So, great idea. So I'm going to start with this. I really don't want to get um, Game of Thrones again, because that is in here. I don't want to get something big. I would love to get a small one. But yeah, whatever. We're going to see. So we're going to... Take out this one. Oh no! Also, I have really bad handwriting. Nobody understands anything that I write. So, we're gonna have to deal with that. Children of Blood and Bone. Okay, that's not too bad. Please focus back on me. Thank you. I've had this so long. How big is this? Oh, it has small writing. And it's 500 pages. Okay. Well, okay, whatever. But considering the big books that I have, it's pretty decent, so whatever. Now let's do Chip, which is standalones and contemporary books, which I haven't read in a long time. So we're gonna choose this one first. I need to put you down. The Death of Mrs. Westaway. That's not bad. For some reason, the secret TBRs are making me read a lot of thrillers, so. Death of Mrs. Westaway. Has small writing, but we're fine. We're good. Oh my god, I sh maybe shouldn't. I shouldn't maybe choose five books. How about we choose three, and then if I finish the books, I'll choose another one throughout the month. That makes more sense. I think we're gonna do that. The last one. This one. What does that say? Girl on the Train, another thriller. What is happening? Girl on the Train, the secret TBR really wants me to read the Paula Hawkins books. So I guess these are the books on my TBR for April, apart from the other that aren't for this video. So yeah. My exams end on the 16th, so if by then I finish these, I'll pick some more out, like three or four or something. So yeah, I'll see you in April. Three books I did not read were these. Now I have to figure out a punishment for myself. I might just pick out another book from my jar cup mug things. Should I take out three because I didn't read three? We're doing it. We're taking three out. I'm taking from the contemporary one slash standalones because I'm going to try and be as nice as I can to myself. Okay, let's take out the first one. Please don't be anything bad. Please, 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 please. Only happens in the movies. Okay, so this is a book I've... Okay, so, fun fact. I asked for this book on NetGalley and they rejected me, but I still bought it because Georgia said it was good. So I guess this is now on my TBR. It has big writing, it's fine. Let's just make my life living hell. Book number two, I don't know if that's the right way up. What does that say? The girl who drank the moon. That literally could fit with a buzzword. But, another book. Last one, please be nice, please be nice. So far so good. Even though now I have like 17 books on my TBR. I don't know what that says. Girls made of snow and glass. Another Georgia recommendation. I think it's a Snow White retelling. Okay, that's actually not bad. So, as punishments, 
for um, not reading the books last month. I have to read these three now. Yay! Hello, it is the 2nd of April. As you can probably tell, I've been turning around books I haven't read and I've realized I have a problem, but I'm still gonna buy books for my birthday. So here are the books, like that. Yeah, this one's gonna be last, so we're just gonna put you down. So, first, obviously, the easy peasy contemporary. Then let's put the death of Ha don't fall. The death of Mrs. Westaway. Because I feel like I might like that. Then we're gonna put this book that Georgia loves. Then I think this one, because I might hate it. Then that. Then this. The only reason I don't want to read Children of Blood and Bone is because I have to read the other book that I have. Which I don't want to. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm gonna want to. So yeah, that's the order. I'm not gonna read anything until like the 19th of April, because that's when my exams end. But I might, so I'll see you when I see you. Hello, I know it's been a long time, but I'm here now, that's all that matters. I finished my exams like a week ago, a week ago tomorrow, so yeah. So I should have been reading, but I have not been reading. Um, mostly because Shadow and Bone, and I have to read them. So I'm still currently reading Shadow and Bone, but I started this, which was one of the punishments, and I am almost done with it. I'm listening to it on audiobook and it's really fun because the narrator is like an old woman voice and I thought it was really good and it's really cute. It made me think of this actress. I don't know why. It's not even the same voice, but she's really cute. So yeah, I'm really liking it. Um, if you don't know what this is about, it is a little girl when she lives in this city or town and every year the youngest person in that town is sacrificed to the witch in the woods. And this girl, Luna, is the one sacrificed. However, the witch that they believe in is actually not that bad and doesn't eat the children or something. She actually takes the children and gives them to better homes. Something like that. But the witch gets attached to Luna and accidentally feeds her moon light, I think. That's how you say it, but... And the child becomes magical, so... Yeah, it's really cute. I really like it. Hopefully I'll finish it soon, maybe today. I don't know, but it's really cute. Also, I read like a chapter of this. How much did I read? 40 pages. Um, it looks really cringy, but Georgia said to give it a chance, so we're gonna do that. But yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna read this. So yes, that is the update for now. Don't judge me, okay? It is the last day of April, and guess what? I have like five books left to read. Is that gonna happen realistically? No. Am I still gonna try? Yes. But before I start getting into that, I'm gonna tell you the books that I have read, which I haven't talked about because I've procrastinated a lot this month. So first I finished The Girl on the Moon. The Girl, the girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. I listened to this on audiobook and I really loved it as an audiobook. The voice, the narrator was really good um, and I thought it was really cute. Um, I gave it a four star. It wasn't the best book of my entire life, but I really liked it, um, so yes. And then I started and finished It Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Byrne and this was something else. I don't know how to explain this. So, when I finished reading this, I both hated it and loved it at the same time, so I didn't know what to rate it. But then after thinking for a while, I ended up giving it a two star. So, yeah, I'm gonna unhaul it because I didn't love it. But, it was a read that I think was worth the read, if that makes any sense. I wish I had read this earlier for personal reasons. All I'm gonna say is if you've read this, the ending, I should have done that. 
If you don't know what this is about, it is about a girl who starts working at a movie theater and meets the typical bad boy, F boy dude and she knows not to go anywhere near him and that stuff but ends up obviously doing so and it's about her basically hating romance movies because they're unrealistic which they are but they're fun to watch so yeah i hated this but kind of liked it so <laughs> it's still staying a two though because i really hated it some things were good that's what i'm saying then not to do with this video, I have to read two other books which are for the buzzword. I don't have to, but I've already written it down on my buzzword spread, so I kind of have to now. But I'm gonna go get the remainder of this challenge's books. So these are the books remaining to read. Not happening. I can have a save, which I completely forgot last time. So I'm gonna save this because it's not really safe because I'm not giving any of these away, but I'm not reading this because I'm not ready to read this. I don't know why, but I'm not. Then, of these three, whoops, of these three, I'm not excited about this one at all. I hated the last book I read by this author, and I don't really want to read this. So we're going to abort mission on that one. I guess I'm going to have to do punishments once again. That didn't even work this time. And then these two. How am I going to read four books in a day? I don't know. Not even a day, like 12 hours. But, yeah, if I'm going to choose one, um, they both have tiny writing. I'm doing all of this, but I'm literally probably not going to even begin reading this. But if I read like 50 pages, I'm going to count as read, so I only have two punishments. We'll see. That is the update. I'll see you literally tomorrow to see if it actually worked my brain moment and I put effort, which I'm in a procrastinating mood, so save me. Um, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. You can probably tell that is the same outfit from another video, but I don't care right now. I don't know why I'm singing. It is the end of April, and once again, I failed my own challenge. Yay! I literally don't even remember what books it was, but I think it's only these. I think it was six. No, it was more. What am I missing? No, it was six. These are the books that I at least remember. I think that's all of them that I was supposed to read. I read these two, so those are fine. You can leave. Thank you very much for your time. So these four are the books I did not read. I can save one, aka as if I had read it. It's gonna be this. So I have three books, once again, that I didn't read. So I'm gonna have to figure out punishments in the next video. But that is everything for today, and I'll see you in my next word video. Bye!